They call it the silent war. Death in Yemen comes in different forms. Recent studies by monitoring groups have put the death toll from violence alone at some 100,000 people, much higher than what had been reported in the media. Now, the country's health ministry has declared a new health emergency. Authorities say they are struggling to contain an outbreak of malaria and dengue fever. Health officials say the epidemics have spread over the country's northern provinces. These include Hodeida, Hajja, Taiz and Sada. Authorities say more than 115,000 cases of malaria have been documented since January. Meanwhile, 23,000 cases of dengue fever have also been recorded. Yemen is already struggling with many other health issues. The World Health Organization says a cholera outbreak has affected more than 1.2 million people, making it the largest outbreak on record in modern day history. Critics have argued if the international community is doing enough to provide assistance for the war-torn country. Uh, with one hand, the international community gives, and the other hand, it, it takes away. I mean, the, uh, the, the war uh, in, in, uh, in Yemen, against Yemen, has been going on for, uh, for nearly five years. It's an, it's an international crime, an absolute outrage, and it's just causing devastation in that country. Meanwhile, the United Nations Children Agency, UNICEF, has sounded the alarm over the plight of children in the war-torn country. Many have perished under harsh circumstances. At one point, the United Nations said one child dies every 10 minutes in Yemen from preventable causes. Saudi Arabia's war on Yemen has destroyed much of the country's health service. The kingdom's bombardment of the port city of Hodeida has also made it very difficult to bring in much needed medical aid. Air raids across the country have also crippled the country's public health infrastructure. Many human rights groups and analysts have blamed the kingdom for the humanitarian crisis. Primary responsibility lies with the Saudis and the United Arab Emirates and their bankers, backers in the U.S. And, and, and Britain. Many international aid organizations have been forced to flee Yemen in the face of Saudi Arabia's airstrikes. One of these is Doctors Without Borders. They have withdrawn many of their facilities from the country. However, the group complains that those who remain in Yemen continue to come under attack from Saudi Arabia. Just last week, another Saudi air raid destroyed a hospital run by Doctors Without Borders in the country's north. This year, the United Nations says the country's health crisis remains the worst in the world, and if the war continues, the situation will get much worse. It all raises the question as to why world powers are not doing enough to end the war on Yemen. As the people of Yemen continue to suffer from acts of violence and non-violence alike, they continue to suffer in silence.